Hello, it's Dr. Rhonda Johnson. Today is Wednesday, October 18, 2023, and today I'm talking about COVID-19 infection and pregnancy. Now, the information that I'm sharing comes from a journal that was published online March 20th, 2023 in the Journal of Obstetrics and Gynecological Science, and I will share the link. And this is a super condensed version. And remember that information on COVID-19 infection is always evolving. So here's the summarizing of some of what I thought were key findings. So the World Health Organization reports that about 80% of COVID infections during pregnancy are mild or asymptomatic, 15% are severe enough to require supplemental oxygen, and 5% are critical. Uh, requiring ICU stay. Now, previous uh, uh, data suggests that the original alpha and the delta uh, COVID variants cause more severe complications in pregnant patients. Now, older age and underlying uh, medical conditions are associated with the increased risk of critical COVID-19 illness among pregnant patients. And these risk factors for severe disease include obesity, older age, uh, and underlying chronic conditions such as high blood pressure, pregestational diabetes, and chronic lung disease, to name a few. Now, uh, studies have reported that COVID-19 during pregnancy are associated with a higher rate of preterm birth, a higher rate of cesarean section delivery, and a higher rate of preeclampsia, although the risk of uh, preeclampsia may not be the same across all countries around the world. Now, there are some, uh, there is some good news. So the studies have shown that vertical transmission, that means transmission of COVID-19 from mother to baby across the placenta is rare. Also, COVID uh, replication competent COVID-19 virus doesn't appear to uh, pass into the breast milk and be replication competent, meaning it can infect the baby. Uh, Early data suggests that COVID infection in pregnant patients is not associated with the increased prevalence of intrauterine growth retardation or increased frequency of miscarriage or increased frequency of congenital anomalies. So COVID infection is not causing that. Now, what about the COVID vaccines in pregnancy? Well, they summarized the evidence and they found that a messenger RNA COVID-19 vaccine did not increase the risk of miscarriage in pregnant women who received the vaccine just before or during early pregnancy. And that means under 20 weeks. They also showed that the administration of the messenger RNA COVID-19 vaccines during pregnancy is not associated with the increased risk of preterm birth from the vaccine, stillbirth from the vaccine, bacterial infection across the placenta from the vaccine, and excessive maternal blood loss after birth. So that's good news. The vaccine is not associated with any of those complications. Also, they note that no safety concerns were detected in the vaccine safety monitoring system for people who received a messenger RNA COVID vaccine late in their pregnancy. Okay, and administration of the vaccines before and during the first trimester was not associated with the increased risk of detectable birth defects. So that's a lot of information about COVID-19 infection during pregnancy and also on the vaccines. I hope you find it helpful. Again, the best COVID infection is the one that you never get. So continue to be careful, especially for moms-to-be. Take care.